How to work during a pandemic. The world is bracing for the seemingly inevitable proliferation of SARS-CoV-12, also known as COVID-19 and coronavirus, which has already paralyzed cities and isolated millions. In the US, especially the non-stop work culture in startups, we tend to think we're immune to such things and carry on business as usual. We are not only deluding ourselves but putting others in danger, so here are a few ground rules to make sure you don't make this difficult period any harder for yourself or the people you work with. We decided to publish something on this because we saw a lot of people unsure about what is appropriate to do and not do, as a CEO, an aspiring founder, or an employee in the tech world. If you are looking for the latest news on the health crisis or want to learn more about the virus, visit the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention or the World Health Organization's dedicated sites. 1. Take reasonable precautions and be transparent. The CDC says that good self-hygiene and frequent hand washing are the best ways to prevent the spread of the virus. Masks are actually not recommended, but won't make anything worse, they're more for someone infected than someone healthy. You're also only at risk of being affected by people you come into contact with, this isn't a nerve agent that's going to creep in through the cracks of your windows. To minimize risk, stay home if you can. This may mean cancelling meetings, working remotely, or skipping a conference, if it hasn't been cancelled already. Work through your almond supplies, rice, and frozen leftovers, and if you do decide to go out, wash your hands frequently or carry hand sanitizer. If you order in and would rather have the driver drop something off than hand it to you, that's fine too. When you do something that could affect others, it might be good to explain that you're doing it because the threat of infection. Choose your words carefully, but be clear about it, can we do a video call instead? I'm trying to minimize my exposure right now is fine. If people think you're doing this because you think they're infected or dirty, that's a problem on their side, and they probably haven't read this list. To be clear, the world isn't a death trap right now. But because the virus can be asymptomatic and still spread, it's not obvious where it is and isn't dangerous to be. So you should do what makes you feel comfortable and minimizes the risk of exposure in general. 2. Don't question precautions taken by others. A lot of things are going to go wrong over the next few weeks. Major events have already been cancelled and no doubt many face-to-face -face meetings are being skipped out on. That sucks but limit your judgment of the people making those decisions. If someone doesn't want to shake hands or fist bump, that's okay. If someone wants to me for more on this story, visit the news article link.